Hey everybody, I'm Ben from InterNACHI and a little bit of infrared information. So um, I have four infrared cameras and we're going to test them out in this video. I've got the um, FLIR E5. I have a new one from Perfect Prime, um, an interesting one there, looks kind of good. And then I've got the old uh, FLIR C2, they don't make them anymore, now it's like C3 or C5 or something like that. Um, and then there's the FLIR 1. So let's take a look. Let's use all these infrared cameras and uh, a moisture meter and try to find um, energy deficiency problems and uh, uh, a water leak, a plumbing leak. And if you want to be infrared certified, um, that's at nachi.org slash IR. nachi.org slash IR to become infrared certified. And it's free and online training program from the only home inspector college. Um, and that's at nachi.org slash IR. And then uh, I'm a consultant with uh, fastsight for you and they're building home inspector websites with an infrared page because every home inspector should be infrared certified and use infrared. It makes you a better inspector. And then inspector outlet, inspectoroutlet.com, they sell infrared cameras um, and they sell the FLIR E5 and the FLIR E4. Um, and then if you wanted the FLIR one that I held up before, um, you can go to inspectorcoach.com, inspectorcoach.com, click tools, and then go to infrared, and there's the FLIR E1. Um, it's only $172 right now, and then there's this FLIR C3 as well. So let's um, have some fun with all these FLIR cameras, and let's try to find some things that a home inspector should be able to find with this technology. Take a look at this sink here. Turn the water on. And we've got the FLIR E5. And there you can see the difference between the hot and cold water. That's definitely hot water, right? And then also, very quickly, you can see there's something going on with the sink because that's the drainage pipe that's hot, but that is a leak on the floor. You can see it from there. With our human eye, not much going on, but with our infrared, we can see, ah, there's something going on back there. And that's pretty quick. I kind of like that. That's the FLIR E5. And now let's use this FLIR C2. So there's the sink there. Looks okay. But in this image using the FLIR, you can actually see, whoa, there's something going on with hot water coming out from the base. So that's pretty easy to see, and that's a pretty good image too. Now let's take a look at FLIR 1, which is attached to my iPhone. And it could be video, which is what I like. And there's FLIR 1. I would say it's a little foggy and blurry, but I can definitely see that there is some water there and something going on behind the sink there. So that's the image from FLIR 1. And now let's use the image from Perfect Prime, their infrared camera. Turn on the hot water, it's definitely hot. Looks like a good sink, but Perfect Prime can show us something different. And I really like their temperature gauges there. Well, you can even see the individual splashes of water. So this is perfect prime infrared. Not bad. Now let's take a look at an exterior door and see how energy efficient it is. See if we can see any hot spots or cold spots. Today, it's very cold outside. So I'm going to take a look at the exterior door and see if we see any cold spots using the FLIR E5 and the other infrared cameras. Okay, so there is the exterior door. It's very cold outside, warm inside, FLIR, FLIR E5, and that's what it looks like. Um, you can see that the door itself, there's some cold air on the corner, some, I mean, cold surfaces in the corner of the house there, and at the bottom, you can see cool indications of cool surfaces, probably cold air coming through the bottom where the, where the uh, weather stripping isn't very good, right? The gasket around the door isn't very good. So I can see that. 
very clearly. It's very minor. As a home inspector, I probably wouldn't even talk about it. What is that? Why is that hot? Oh, that's a, that's a Wi-Fi thing. So I clearly picked that up, right? With my infrared camera, you can see something is plugged in and it's warm. Um, and this, the bottom of the door is cool. And it could be some air intrusion coming in from the cold air outside. Okay, so that's a FLIR E5. Same exterior door, cold outside, FLIR C2. This is the FLIR C2, and just about the same results, right? Um, I could tell that it's cool there, and there's some cold corner there, cold surface. Maybe it's not insulated very well around that area, and maybe some weather stripping could be some gasket, so, and that's on fire, right? So you can see that, that little Wi-Fi instrument that's plugged in there. So that's a pretty good, easy indication of what a FLIR C2 camera can do. Okay, so same door, and this is the Perfect Prime infrared camera, and it did well with the sink. Remember the splash marks? We could see the spot, and it's doing well here. So you could see that it's very different, uh, the surface areas around here. Oh, you could see even the studs uh, above the door and the studs on the exterior wall with this infrared camera. And, um, pretty good and let's see where yep that's on fire so that little thing plugged in the receptacle and the door itself and pretty impressed I like it so there's that's probably some right there that's like a chase for heat remember it's cold outside and so I kind of like this camera it's doing well competing well with the FLIRs and here's the FLIR 1 um, and the door yeah, you know, it's it, it's blurriness, right? It's not very clear like the other ones. Um, but you can see there's some differences in temperature surfaces there by the door. You can see that it's cooler there. And there's, yep, it catches that receptacle there. So that's the FLIR 1. Okay, so we tested these infrared cameras. The FLIR E5, the FLIR C2, the FLIR 1, and the um, Perfect Prime infrared camera, which was really impressive. I like the FLIR E5 uh, and the FLIR C2, the C3, the C5, they're all about the same. The FLIR 1 was a little foggy and I was impressed by the Perfect Prime. Um, I'm going to show you about training certification and why should you do infrared. Well, it helps you become a better home inspector. You simply see things that other home inspectors can't and you use the infrared as part of your branding and your marketing to distinguish yourself from the rest and you use the InterNACHI infrared certified logo. Let me show you where that is. Go to nachi.org slash IR, nachi.org slash IR and become infrared certified. And then you can use that logo, that really good, nice infrared certified logo on your business cards, your flyers, your brochures, and your websites. Speaking of websites, Fastsight for You is creating websites for InterNACHI members, and they also do infrared pages on your website. So you can promote your infrared training and certification and your capabilities of using infrared during your home inspections. And that's at fastsightforyou.com. To find the FLIR 1 and the FLIR C3 and C5 and the Perfect Prime, um, go to inspectorcoach.com, inspectorcoach.com, click the tools button, uh, click the infrared cameras, and there they are. You can just order them through Amazon. InterNACHI has an e-commerce partner for all the other types of FLIR tools uh, and cameras, and it's inspectoroutlet.com, inspectoroutlet.com. As you can see, they have a ton of infrared cameras there and moisture meters as well. So again, Become infrared certified, nachi.org slash IR. That's a free online training and certification program provided by the only home inspector college, internachi.edu. I'm Ben Gramico from InterNACHI. I hope you enjoyed the uh, four infrared camera comparison video. Catch you next time.